Well, it is Monday morning. I was out here all day yesterday working on two projects. The first is my new box joint jig and while I was doing that I had to wait for certain things to dry, for the glue to dry on some things. So I decided that I would do something else as well. So I started making these doors for my wall mounted cabinet up there. It's kind of looking, I don't know, a little bit untidy because you can see everything that's in there. I figure if I put doors on there, I'd close it up and make it look neater. These are fairly simple and not much to them. I've got a little bit of work to do to clean them up and then they're finished and I can put them on. Well, I started with half inch plywood that I ripped to about 18 inches wide. Then I cut them the length on the table saw using the table saw sled. and then down to the correct width. I had to make them a half inch smaller than the actual size that I want the doors because I'm going to add trim to the edge and to the face to build them out. Trim is just cut from a piece of 2x6 that's fairly clear and has had lots of time to dry out here in the workshop. Then I ran the strips through the planer to smooth them and bring them down to the final thickness. Then I cut the strips that go on the edge to width and to length. And fastened them to the edge of the door. I'm using wood glue and pin nails to hold them on there. The ones that go on the face are next and I cut those to length and then fasten those in the same way with glue and pin nails. So like I say, I made them yesterday and then I clamped them down to my workbench, flat against the workbench to keep them flat because whenever you glue something on like that, it will have a tendency to make it curl. Also, this plywood was a little bit warped when I first cut it, so that helped to flatten it out. So, what I gotta do now is put it in my flat again and trim up the edges. I made these face pieces here a little bit too long so that they stick out the ends, and I'll just trim those off and then sand the whole thing. Originally I was going to put these up just on finish, but I figure I'll take the time to put a single coat of water-based polyurethane on just to give them a little bit more protection and to keep them looking clean. I'm only doing the backs and the edges, like the edge where the hinges go, and then I'll hang the doors and do the front after they're up. That's a lot easier than trying to find a place to lay them out. Well, the finish is dried enough on the doors that I can put the hinges on. I'm just using these cabinet door hinges. These are kind of an old style. I bought a bunch when they were on sale so I think I got them for like 20 cents each. Too good a deal to pass up. And the way they work is they just lap over the edge of the door like that. Spacing isn't critical but I like to space it just the width of the plate down just line it up at the end, make a mark, draw where the screw holes are, and then I can drill for the screws. I've got the doors all hinged up. I just need to get them hung. I'm starting in the center here because I've got this rail here. The hinges really need to butt up against each other because I made them, you know, as big as I could cover as much of this cabinet as I could. So I'm just going to line them up. I also want to line them up with the bottom of the cabinet down here. Once again it covers up the bottom of the face frame and it also clears my up down light over here. I'm just going to hold this in place, mark the holes, 
and drive the screws. To get the correct spacing I've got a little piece of wood here to act as a shim to go between the doors. I'm just going to put that in there, butt the other door up against it, slide it down until these are flush on the end here. I'm not at all concerned about where it is over here. I just want these to line up in the middle. These hinges are self-closing so they'll kind of keep the doors closed. Like that, you open them a little bit to close. Now this one over here doesn't close all the way, it doesn't keep it all the way in. And the reason for that is this binding here because this part of the face frame is twisted out a little bit. The way to solve that is to take a chisel and cut away a little bit of the face frame so it clears that point. Of course that does mar the face frame a little bit, you, you know, cutting part of that out. There is an easier way, a quicker way, and that's to take your chisel instead of cutting it out, stick it in behind the hinge and gently try to close it a little bit. And what that does is it bends the hinge out enough so that it clears the face frame and it closes properly. All I got left to do is to finish the outside with urethane. I was going to make handles to go here, the same type that I have on my window blinds and pretty much everywhere else in the shop. But I figure I don't really need them. I can quickly open the doors like that just by grasping it like that. Really not inconvenient at all. Coating it with urethane will also help to keep them flat. It'll limit moisture absorption, and moisture is what makes them warp and curl. So, minimum protection of one coat should do. Also, if you want to go a little bit further with these doors, you can add a molding on the inside of these panels. Very similar to what I did on the door I made in my old workshop, the plywood door. I added the trim around the inside. Not only did it cover the edge of the plywood that I used, it also dressed it up pretty good.